Hey there, it's Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at modal verbs may and might. So let's get started. What are modal verbs or modal auxiliaries? Well, they are a special category of helping verbs. They actually make the meaning of the main verb more precise, and they follow the following formula. Subject plus modal verb or modal auxiliary plus base of the verb, notice without to, plus object plus the time expression if you have it. He may enroll in the history course next semester. Next semester is the time expression. The modal verb may and the base of the verb is enroll. Now let's take a look at usage. Both are used to express possibility. So may often conveys a stronger possibility than might. Yeah, he might. So let's take a look at some examples. Since he has shown interest in humanities, he may enroll in the history course next semester. May enroll. Although she studied hard for the exam, she might decide not to take it after all. Notice that I can even say she may decide not to take it after all. It's just a choice. Second usage. May is used to express permission. Sometimes might may be possible, but it's less common. May I? Let's take a look at some examples. Students may bring their computers into the classroom, but not food items may bring. So I said may bring. So you, we can say might bring, but it's less common. For questions, for permission, you need to use may. May I? May I go to the washroom? May I leave the classroom? Third usage. Might is used to express what is hypothetical, counterfactual, or remotely possible. Just like Mr. P right here. So the examples are, if you hurry, you might get there on time. If I win the lottery, I might buy a Ferrari. So notice might plus the base of the verb. The first one is get, the second one is buy. So it's just hypothetical in both cases and is the first conditional. One last consideration. Might is the past tense form of may. So I can say, he might have called earlier, but I was not home. This is the past tense. So he probably called earlier, but I wasn't home. So now let's practice. Complete the sentences with may or might or both and the base of the verb given. Oh, don't be sad, Mr. P. It's just few sentences. So pause the video and complete the sentences. When you're ready, I will give you the key. Now that you're ready, here is your key. You may have another piece of cake. This is a permission kind of sentence. Number two is a question. May I go to the movies tonight? Asking for permission. Number three, he may or might lose his job. This is a possibility. Number four, I may or might have dessert after dinner. This is also a possibility. Number five, the weather may or might be better tomorrow. This is also an example of a possibility. And number six, if Luisa comes, she might look after the children, hypothetical. So notice the three, four, and five, they are all examples of possibility and you can choose either or, may or might. So that's it for today. If you have any questions about may or might, you may post it under the video. Thanks for watching. If you have subscribed to my channel, please do. If you like the lesson, hit on the like button, please. And you may share the video lesson with your friends. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.